Hi, this is Shaw with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. As you know, we're currently working through a series on building a Swing GUI to connect to a database. We are currently at video 12.10, checking user passwords. Let's expand on our previous code example. Now we'd like to check the user's passwords during login. The user's passwords are stored in the database as an encrypted string. When the user attempts to log in, we'll compare the password with information in the database. Before we get into the coding, let's take a look at a demo. All right, so let's swing over to our final application. This is our employee search. We have the user login screen. And what the user can do now is they can go and select a user to log in as. So in this example, I'm gonna log in as a different user. I'll log in as Percy Miracles. And first I'll just enter a bad password and hit okay. It's gonna say invalid login. I'll also just try and clear out the password and try an empty one. Again, invalid login. Now I'll enter a proper password, J-A-V-A -A, for Java, all lowercase. And that'll log me into the application successfully. Now you'll notice we have a new tab here called users, and this will show us all the users in the application. So some of the users are listed as admin, and others are not admin. There's a button there for adding a user. You can also update an existing user, and you can also go through and change a user's password. So a lot of the basic CRUD features that you need for working with a user is available in the application now. Now in order to add all of this functionality, we need to set up a to-do list. So the first thing we need to do is make some modifications to our user DAO. We'll need to retrieve the encrypted password from the database and compare it with the password entered by the user interface. Then we'll also have to go through and make modifications to our login panel, such that when a user logs in, we compare that information with information from our DAO. And then finally, we'll make use of our main GUI to add a new tab for managing users so we can add, update, and change passwords for existing users. So we have our work cut out for us. Let's go ahead and get started. So for this application, we're also gonna introduce some special rules. So basically, we're gonna have two types of users, admin users and non-admin users. An admin user can actually modify all the users in the system. So they can add users, update users, and change their passwords. Non-admin users can only modify their own accounts. So we're just adding a small little bit of role security here in the application also. A nice bonus for you. For this tutorial, we're gonna use the following table, employees. The table has sample data for testing. I have a SQL script that'll create the table and add the sample data for you. You can download it from the link below. The file is called SQL slash table setup.sql. All right, so let's go ahead and move over to MySQL. I'll just do a quick query on this table users. We'll see that we have the email addresses for the user. Also, the important thing is the actual password, this big, long encrypted string. And we also have a column here, a user is an admin or a non-admin. So we can see that we have this user here, admin Charles. He is a admin user. And then we also have another person, Joe Alpha, and he's not an admin user. So what I want to do is just give a disclaimer up front that what I'm showing you here is security information, and it's a very sensitive topic. Before you implement security at your company, I highly recommend that you review it with your CTO and also your security officer. What I'm presenting is for educational purposes only. I will not be held liable or have any warranties or guarantees against what I'm showing you. My lawyers make me say that. So when you make use of storing user passwords in a database, a couple of rules that you need to follow. The first thing is that you never store user passwords in clear text in the database. Always make use of a secure one-way encryption or hash. So you should use a standard security library for performing the encryption and hashing for you. Never attempt to write your own hashing or encryption algorithm. And finally, never use a two-way hash. You should never be able to decrypt a user's password. So you can make use of JSIP, which is an easy to use security library. It's available from jsip.org. You can use JSIP to encrypt a password and check on it. So in this code snippet I have here, you simply create an instance of a strong password encryptor. And then from there, you can encrypt the password. Once it's encrypted, then you can check the password against whatever the user entered and that given encrypted password. If it's correct, you log the user in. If not, you'd use a bad login. And you'll see this in the code that I'll show you in a second. All right, so let's move over to Eclipse. I have this class called User DAO, and this is what I'll use for retrieving and encrypting the passwords. So I have a method here called AuthenticateUser. 
So basically they'll pass in a user object and then we'll check their password against whatever we have in the database. So the first thing I'll do is I'll get the plain text password from that user object. Then I'll get the encrypted password from the database based on that user's ID. And then I'll use this password utils to check the password. I'll pass in the plain text password and the encrypted password and it'll return true or false. And I can return that information to the calling program. All right, so let's move over to the login dialog. This is where a user will select a user from the list and also type in a password and they'll hit OK and it will compare it against the information we have in the database. So let's go ahead and look at the source code for this. I have this method called perform user login. That's called when they hit the OK button. Here I'll just check to make sure we have a valid user selected. I'll grab that user object from the combo box. Then I'll get the plain text password they entered in the user interface. And using this, I'll actually compare it using the user DAO with the encrypted value in the database. So that's where all the heavy lifting occurs right there in that method. I'll just move down a bit. And then if we have a valid password, then we'll go ahead and hide the login window and we'll show the main application. So that means everything's okay and they can log into the application. If not, then we'll throw up an error message. Hey, invalid login. All right, and now finally, we'll take a look at the main GUI. So in the main GUI, we have a new tab set up for users. And basically, this is where we can manage the users. So we'll be able to add a user, update a user, and also change a user's password, all from this one screen. So this will handle all the basic user management operations in one location. All right, so this wraps up our video on checking user passwords. You learned how to set up the user login and also check the user's passwords against the encrypted passwords in the actual database. If you have any questions about the application, feel free to place them in the comment section below. Also, please subscribe to our channel to view more videos on Java. And don't forget to visit our website, lovetocode.com to download the Java source code used in this video.